Welcome back, everybody. We are here in Pern 1.18 Survival. We have just finished our villager breeder, and I'm standing on it. And now we need a place to use this lectern. <laughs> that means a bookshop. So let's get building. That should take care of that. Um, and save us the, the trouble of, of uh, all that trouble. Yes. Mm-hmm. Language, speaking skills. We have them. We can do it. Possibly. <laughs> um, I think I need to make a new... This comes up into the castle area. I should make a new stairway that goes up the other side as well. That comes out just in the lower city. So that I can go back and forth, back and forth. Oh, I guess I could have just used the back command or the home bed command. But, oh well. Alright, it's daytime. Any of our copper turn the green yet? Just come down here to make sure. Not yet. All right, because we're going for the, not the total green, but the this looks like this, but it's green. So we'll get there. That's the next step. <laughs> uh, so we need a bookshop next. That's going to be our build, uh, is to design a bookshop. Uh, we'll have to pick a spot. Let's see, did our baby villager fall down? He did, and he's in the boat. Perfect. Uh, we'll just keep you there. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep you in there. we got to grow up anyways before we can give you a lectern. All right, so we're going to build a bookshop. I think we are going to place it... Um, one it here, one it here, shopping district... Uh, Trying to think, where do we want a bookshop? It's not going to be very big. You know, a bookshop is kind of like a... It should be just small, right? Books were a luxury thing, so it's not that lots of people would be buying them. I am thinking that we're going to put it over here on this road. Let's not fall down the hill. We're going to put it on this road. And we're going to stick it right here. Yep, this is where the bookshop is going to go. Um, so, let's see. So, size-wise, it's not going to be very large. Uh, it's going to come back. It'll be kind of like a narrow building because you know I do want little alleys so this is going to be an alleyway so it'll come back like this and then one two three four five six seven eight so you know it'll be this wide that is our bookshop perfect and we'll leave a little spot here where we can fill this in. Um, in fact, well, I have some tuft. Um, and this will be kind of like the the entrance. Uh, where do we want the entrance? The entrance is going to be off to the side right here. So, boom, boom. That's where the entrance is going to be. Excellent. Um, I think... Yeah, we'll need to take that one out. You'll see why. Actually, we, well, we got to place it in, and then, then we'll fix it. All right, cool. So when you come back, you're going to have a bookshop here. <laughs> we'll see you in a moment. All right, welcome back. We have our little bookstore. <laughs> so uh, we did a wood roof, only two story well one story in an attic really um but it does look a little bit nicer from the front we still might add a little bit because it kind of looks plain um but we've got our windows you know kind of like nice accent a fancier door come in you've got you know a little place to sit bookshelves candles um we've got some lecterns here we even put a book on it um here's the little back area where he got his kitchen and dining area uh and then upstairs 
um, got the bed, and, you know, lots of more books <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, so we are ready to go. We even came in between the two buildings. We've got a little back alley. We put in a little stable here. Uh, don't have a horse for it yet. We've got a little water trough, a chest, uh, you know, for storage, you know, and it's protected. Uh, we've got the little outhouse, so if we need to use the restroom, we can. <laughs> um, so, you know, very, very cool. We've got a functional little area um, for our, need to cover these holes, for our villager. But of course, our villagers have been busy, and we've got two adults now um, ready to go. And so we just need to separate them and then take them over to the, um, take, take one of them over to the library. So, temporarily, let's just do that, and that and that so that they don't necessarily oops don't want that escape we want one of them to get in the boat outside not both of you come on one of you 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 oh my goodness it, i'm not setting the boat down there. All right, well, that guy can wander. You get... Ah. you got to really hate villagers sometimes. Would you? Get in the boat. Thank you. You too. And get in the boat. 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 Why can't we set the boat? Would you get in the boat? Oh my goodness. He's going to get in the other boat. He got in the other boat. You two are going to drive me nuts. I don't know. Take this out of my hand so I stop placing torches. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Come on, guys. I mean, really? Um, what do we have to do? Get a bunch more boats? Let's get a bunch more boats. <laughs> we need them in separate boats so that we can take them away. <laughs> uh, and we need them to, you know, not. <laughs> just not. We need them to just not. Yes. All right. We got boats all around, except for a pie. That's whoops. And of course, you know, they don't go to the boats. All right. No. Goodness, what you get in the boat? Get in there. How hard is it? Just. Oh my goodness! Get in the boat. Thank you. All right. Well, that guy is in the boat. He's the one we hit, so we don't necessarily want him here. Ow. No, 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 no. You're going the right way, but which way are you going to walk? Which way? All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, sometimes you just want to kill them. <laughs> They're not worth it. <laughs> all right i mean we want them to wander around i mean we're not gonna lock them up and stuff but we want them to have a home so this guy needs to come in here and this needs to be his home we'll temporarily shut up the doors and i know we're destroying our house already but we need to block him in here until we get him um, the enchant we want, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, um, I, I need my axe. We're going to be placing the lecterns and taking them up and all that stuff. We need an axe. Okay, so we are temporarily going to block him in here until we determine um, you know, he's already a librarian. All right, well, that's good. What are you? A Curse of the Vanishing. Well, we definitely don't want that. I guess we didn't need to put the book there yet, right? Yeah. All right. Feather Falling 4, which is really good, but um, we need one thing, and one thing only, and that is mending. Frostwalker. Now, of course, you know, he could have mending in one of these menus, but, uh, you know, we're going to be picky. We have the ability to be picky. That is the advantage, I guess, the cheat in Minecraft with villagers is you can keep recycling their jobs and resetting their jobs as long as you don't trade with them first um, until you get what you want at least on a first roll you never know what's going to come with the rest of it but you do have the chance to get you know at least the choice of course sometimes the price might not be what you want <laughs> uh, and then you got to work to get the price down Come on, cooperate with me. Infinity. The one thing I've never really used a whole lot is infinity because... I don't know. It's like it's a cheat almost. You know, you should be able to use up your arrows. Otherwise, you've got a bunch of arrows and nothing to do with your arrows because you've got infinity. Wait, he's being stubborn, isn't he? Last season, at least on the Swan server that I played, I got like mending first roll and it was like 10. <laughs> Lucky. Sharpness 5. That's nice, but it's expensive. All the things we could get. Piercing. Unbreaking 2. Who would ever want Unbreaking 2 when you can have Unbreaking 3, right? Impaling. Aqua Affinity, which we do need, but um, we need Mending more than that. It's getting dark, guy, already, I think. You're going to have to give me Mending here soon, or we're going to have to sleep through the night. Wow, you are stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. You are going to give us mending if it's the last thing that we do. Even if we have to sit here and re-roll for ages and ages and ages. Knock back. We are going to go all night long. You will not sleep until you give me what I want. <laughs> Welcome to the episode of re-rolling the librarian 100 times. I suppose you think we'll make it that far? Putting two again. I don't know. Do villagers have presets to where they're just going to keep going through the same thing or not? I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure. Never looked it up. Respiration. Doesn't look like it because... We are just, we just keep going through other things. Wonder how many of these had mending somewhere in the tree, if you traded him up and stuff like that. First of the vanishing. That's what we started with. Quick shell. Depth strider. We really want that too, but that one's only a two. Uh, 
piercing again. Let me see, where did my, where did it go? We need to go sleep. Okay, mending twenty-eight. You know what? I'll take it. Boats are so stuck. <laughs> Strip. Now we gotta put the floor back the way it needs to go, which is this way. All right. So we're gonna release you. You can go find your bed. It's upstairs. Very good. Very good. All right. Cool. Excellent. We are good to go. Now, just out of curiosity, you know. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a cheaper mending. We haven't traded with the other guy yet, so he's not locked. But there's a chance. Uh oh, I was going to go, what happened to your face? Is it too far away? Or is it just because it's night? All right, let's go sleep. Probably because we need to reset. All right. Looky here, there's a there's a thing for you. Yeah. Don't you want it? Huh. I know you want it. Fine. Eh. Oh. There we go. We had to be closer. Knock back. I'm just curious. We might get a cheaper mending huh. here, and we can always take him over. 31. That's kind of interesting. He's huh. got a... Oh, yeah, because we hit him. And so he's giving us a higher price on everything. <laughs> so we might not get a cheap... Well, we will. We just got to make friends with him again, right? Efficiency 3. Sharpness. I have to give those guys more food before they uh, will make more babies, and that's fine. We don't need tons of babies running around yet. <laughs> Eventually. Loyalty. Riptide. I'm just curious. Looting. trying to think of I guess I could give the job of a farmer to the candle guys oh man that's really cheap <laughs> almost tempted smite piercing again Of course, the problem with uh, our other guy is we only got 13 emeralds. Now, there are some emeralds we can mine down below that I've seen that haven't mined yet. So we can mine them with fortune. Respiration 3, how much was it? Wow, expensive. Not even a consideration at that price. We have better luck just enchanting. <laughs> In fact, that's what we're going to do next is we're going to do some enchanting because we got the levels... Uh, we have some diamonds. We're just going to try to get depth strider and huh? um, respiration on a huh? helmet and on boots. Uh, and then, of course, we will continue huh? to roll for better things for sword and more pickaxes huh? and stuff like that. And the silk touch shovel. And, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things we need. Huh? From a tool aspect that'll just make our builds go faster um, especially from the pickaxe perspective we still got to get them up to level five efficiency i keep hoping that when i'm voting i end up getting the um, excavator the one pickaxe that you can get uh, through voting that you can't get in game uh, the reason i did that it's kind of you know some people might consider it as well that's kind of cheating but yeah you know you gotta vote it's only per, a two percent chance really low 
it has nothing on it except for one enchantment, and that is um, efficiency. I don't know what it technically comes out to, but it's above the six or above five, um, probably a I don't know a ten or so. The whole reason behind it is that it allows you to mine deep slate as if you had a beacon and you were mining just stone. You know that it's really fast, right? Just even with a beacon in, in vanilla um, and an efficiency five pickaxe, deep slate is still ho 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 ho. You know it takes time, but. Uh, with the higher enchantment on that special pickaxe, um, you can mine it as if you had a beacon in efficiency and you were just mining stone. And I did that because Deep Slate is... It's not the toughest stone outside of Obsidian in the game. Um, you know, its toughness is actually not that high. Uh, but its mining toughness is ridiculous. It's a pain to mine large quantities of it. It takes a lot of time. Uh, Alright, well, it looks like we're not getting any mending off of this guy. You know, I was just hoping and curious that maybe we would get something, you know, better. Uh, so he doesn't have to necessarily be a librarian. And we could spin and do this all day. So, we're just gonna leave him where he is leave him as is, but we are going to go put him in this house over here. Uh, this one here. The big one. Um, just so that he has a place. Right? Uh, and later we'll figure out his job and all of that. Uh, we'll keep him in the boat for now, in case we want to move him around. But whatever we want this house to be is what he's going to become. <laughs> I'm thinking this is going to become an eating place where we can keep this mostly open and we can decorate it up and he can be like a butcher um, or something like that. All right. Well, uh, let's go back down. We have probably exhausted our time. Uh, who knows? It depends on how I break it up. Oh, we've got some uh, copper that we want to mine. Very good. We want this level. New recipes. Why? We've used this before. Oh yeah, because it was the it wasn't the solid block, it was the carved up tile block, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say that shouldn't be the case. <laughs> Alright, um, so we need to do a little bit of enchanting. Which also means we need our diamonds. Because we need to repair this, we also need to get mending um, on some things, that kind of stuff. So we're going to do one pickaxe, we're going to do a helmet, and we're going to do boots. We'll save these to see what else we might want. Alright, so the pickaxe is going to give us silk touch. The helmet is going to give us aqua affinity. Alright, that's a definite and blast protection. So we're going to go for the helmet. So that's all we get. That's an efficiency 5, which we need. And that's protection 3. So we're going to go for the efficiency 5. And this is, again, a protection 3. Now, it's hard to tell. This one is an efficiency 5 as well. Still got levels. Protection 4. And I'm breaking. Alright, what do we got on our boots now? We have Protection 4. and we, we, we rolled the same exact thing. We should have looked. <laughs> well, we got a spare piece of boot. Um, but our helmet, we can at least put Aqua Affinity on it. That's a 4. Is it cheaper to go this way? No, it's not. Okay, well, that's progress. We can mine underwater now efficiently. That's good. Oh, we don't want that. And then we need to repair our fortune pick. 
So we can use a fortune two or an efficiency five. It doesn't matter which one really. This is getting expensive. This is why we want to get the mending. So that'll max this out except for mending. All we need to do is add mending, which we'll do. And we're out of levels. <laughs> so let's put all this stuff away. These are our spares to make them better. Um, and we've got our silk touch. And now we have our fortune. Cool. Well, we're going to have to repair our shovel here soon, too. All right. Well, we're getting there. And then, of course, yeah, now we need more emeralds. So here's our fortune three. There is an emerald. I forget how many we needed, but uh, that only gave us one. That gave us a couple. I'm sure there's more in this mountain. Um, all right, well, I guess we need to go mining. Um, we do need more supplies. We are getting low on some things because of all of the building that we've been doing. So, yeah. And we need, of course, emeralds. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today in our next uh, episode. Uh, hopefully, we will do another build. And uh, we'll continue going, continue on doing, getting things done. We need more farms. We need all kinds of things. But thanks for joining me today, and we shall see you in the next episode.